If you are on a Mac, you probably already have Python 3 installed. Uh, we're still gonna install it the old fashioned way anyway, because I don't know what version you're running. You, you could have gotten this computer from somebody else and it could, could have some funny things going on. Uh, if you hold down command and hit spacebar, it will open up Spotlight Search. And if you type in there T-E-R-M, terminal open should pop up at the top. So I'm gonna hit that and it will open up my terminal window. You can from here type Python dash dash version, okay, and mine is going to air because the, the, on, on the, the current version of Python requires Python 3 dash dash version. So go ahead and run both of those, okay, so that if Python works by itself, that means you have Python 2 installed and you need to be careful because we are going to use Python 3. The version on my Mac right now is 3.9.1 and I can type in Python 3 and it gets us back to the exact same place we were a minute ago over here, right? We've got those three arrows. I can start typing in, uh, we'll do print, parentheses, and then in parentheses, we'll put our quotes and then we'll say, hello, world. Okay, the difference now is this is obviously on my computer with my version of Python. I'm gonna type exit, open, close in order to get out of that. Okay, we're not in Python anymore. So now if I try and do the same thing, my Mac says, I have no idea what you're talking about because <laughs> we're not in Python anymore, okay? What I want you to do though is come back over to python.org, click on downloads, all right? And at the top here, it will give you the most, the most recent stable version for your operating system. So in my case, right, this is the Mac video, so Mac OS, click download Python. You will need to save it wherever you save it. And then when it is done installing, go ahead and open it. And this is a DMG file. A DMG file is, is, a, is an application or an installation file for Mac. You will need to go through this, uh, continue, continue, continue. You have to agree, it's up to you whether you wanna read or not, but if you wanna proceed with the course and install Python, you will eventually have to click agree. And then you can decide where you wanna install it. You probably just have one hard drive. Click continue, once again, click install, okay? If, if you have permissions uh, that set up, then you will need to put in your password because the installer needs uh, elevated sort of administrative position in order to install. It will skip ahead. It will want access to my downloads folder. I'm good with that. The blue line goes across. <laughs> install time remaining four hours, 54 minutes, down to three minutes. I, uh, <laughs> I always think those are hilarious. Uh, either that or I just went through a time warp but it has installed Python 3.11, so 3.11 now. I am up from 3.09. If we come back over to the terminal window and type Python 3 dash dash version again, I now get that updated version at 3.114, and you can of course do Python 3 and go back through the, the same stuff that we've done before, okay? If you run into issues, you may need to open up the Python launcher, what you see here for interpreter, that's the thing that's going to run Python. This, this path here, right? This is the directory on your computer. That should match, if I come back over here and do what we did before, which Python 3, it kicks back exactly the same thing uh, in both places here, okay? So you may need to up one or the other if it's not showing exactly the same thing, but you should be in good shape, okay? The IDE or the coding program that we are going to use, is Visual Studio Code. So I just, I literally Googled Visual Studio Code. It will be the top one here. And you have the option of downloading it up top here, or you can just download Mac Universal Stable Build, which is what you want. If you wanted to grab a different version, you can. The stable one is the one that you should use. This is how we are going to program uh, in the class. I want you to go ahead and download that. I already have it installed. But this, but this is my, but this is the, 
You can use any editor that you want, PyCharm, Sublime, there's lots out there. Visual Studio Code seems to be the most ubiquitous one. It, it works across all platforms and has really good integration tools in it, so this is what uh, we will use, okay? So you should be all set up. I'm gonna do the Windows in the next video, and then I will catch you after that.